Yes, uh, obviously, incredible game. Um, I thought, you know, defense, Will Mark kind of led the way today. You know, uh, I think Will was 77% today, which is incredible, especially against probably the most potent offense in the country. Uh, I thought the defense was incredible. They trusted each other. They played team lacrosse. Um, and really, it was an incredible job by them. Uh, I thought the offense was very opportunistic and did what they needed to do. They played very well, played unselfishly. I believe eight of the 10 goals were assisted. And you know that was the key to scoring against them, was moving the ball, getting it inside. I thought uh, their goalie played outstanding today as well um, and, and kept them in the game for, for quite a while. Um, and we know that we got more work to do moving forward. And, uh, you know, we, I, I've challenged our team to get better as we go because this is uh, just the first ACC game. We got many more. And uh, we need to get better because they will get better if we see them again. Well, this was for you. Um, knowing the potency of the offense and knowing a guy like going against a guy like Brendan O'Neill, did you have some extra motivation in terms of what you knew you had on your shoulder defensively going to this game? Um, I mean, yes and no. Obviously, you don't want to underestimate an opponent, but you know, I think the key to you know being a successful goalie is going in with a clear head, um, not thinking too much, um, and you know just being able to play fluent or fluidly and you know naturally and just see the ball. So. Obviously, you know, I respect the team and I respect Duke and the players. Um, at the end of the day, I'm just trying to treat, treat every shot, you know, like each other and just stay patient and see the ball and, you know, make a save so I can give these guys a chance to score. Well, you said after the Delaware game, you guys are seeking that perfect defensive performance. How would you characterize holding the top scoring offense in the country to four goals? I mean, I guess a perfect 60 minutes would be zero goals. Um, <laughs> but in terms of, you know, ACC lacrosse, like you couldn't ask for a better game defensively. Um, those guys were just giving me shots. You know, I can save um, the whole entire game. Um, and like I said, we're just trying to give these guys a chance um, every time we make a stop. So, but I would say that's a pretty good 60. Yeah. <laughs> well, was there like a certain scouting report or anything that going in that made you feel super confident or super sharp, or were you just kind of locked in today? Yeah, like I just said, I think the key to you know goalkeeping is you know treat every shot the same. I'm not overthinking anything. Um, a big thing that I like to do is just look at spots, like where they're shooting from, just so I can be ready. But at the end of the day, I'm just trying to go in there with a clear head. Um, and like I said, trust my instincts, my training, and just see the ball. Coach, entering today, what was the memo you gave your defense about Duke's offense and how you can stop them? <laughs> uh, you know, the, the real key is just to stick to the game plan and play play team defense. You know, we, we realize no one's just going to go out there and shut down a single player. It's about support. It's about help. Um, I think one of the best things they did, they've, they've done over the last two games, is they haven't allowed teams to get shots with time and room. And if you look back at that game, there really were very few wide open shots where Will's got to, you know, square up and be ready to make a save when the guy has nothing but time and room. Like, every shot was challenged. There were very few that, you know, there wasn't a stick on the gloves or stick into the gut or somewhere. So, you know, that's great team defense, not giving any, up anything easy. You know, knowing where you gotta be and getting there in time to get your stick, uh, your stick in, in the way and, and affect the shot. So it was well done. Coach, leading the charge for your defense are two really young players, Billy Juan and Riley Figueres. They were really the last week against Delaware, but on this kind of stage, how important is a moment like this for their development? I think it's it's incredible for them to get this type of experience, and and again, it's you know they're doing their job, and they're getting the support when they need it. Um, you know, they're switching off their guys when they have to, and and going to help and we're finding ways to continue to play good defense you know even when we don't have the matchups we want and that's that's just teamwork and 
and knowing where the help is and knowing where the ball is going to be skipped and knowing you got to recover and get there under control. So I thought uh, just an outstanding job. Coach, uh, continue to build this program. Uh, four wins your first year, eight wins last year, already your eighth win this year. This time against Duke last year, overtime loss it was tough. Big time statement today. How would you characterize how the program is today as of where it was a year ago? I, I think, you know, we have a pretty high standard here at Syracuse, and, and we're, we're not where we want to be yet. So we're just going to keep working uh, until we are where we, we want to be, you know, taking over this job. You know, I promised uh, our athletic director, John Wildhack, that we would, we would be back. We'd be back in Final Fours. We'd be back in the championship uh, situation, and we're not there yet. So we still got work to do. Um, I think we're progressing in the right in the right direction, and uh, you know I got to thank the, the coaches, uh, you know Coach Odiner on the DN, Coach March in, on the offense, and uh, Coach Aquaviva with uh, goalies and faceoffs. Um, I still think they're the uh, best staff in the country, and they're they're really starting to uh, show that they are. Coach, there's an interesting dynamic with your faceoff unit where you have one grad student and one true freshman, and today they really had to work together to overcome the deficit in the first half. How did they work together on that, and what, what's the difference between a grad student handling that and a freshman handling that? Well, I think, you know, there's, there's six guys in our face-off unit, and they support each other. They, uh, you know, the guys that aren't getting out on the field understand how important it is to challenge them during the week in practice and make them better. And it, it wasn't our best performance at the face-off acts, but I will say they responded in the second half. We got dominated in the first half. Our defense bailed us out. But in the, in the third quarter, six of seven, that, that allowed us to, to put the pressure on them and, and get a run offensively. And, and I thought that was huge. And, and obviously, we came up short in the fourth quarter, but we only had uh, we were able to control the ball quite a bit and get stops. And, and uh, you know, I know our face-off guys will look at the film and they'll want to get better from this because if we face this team again, they don't want to end up on the, the losing side uh, of a face-off battle. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. Zach, um, Coach, against Johns Hopkins, you kind of built that lead and you kind of let them creep back in. And the past two games, you guys have done a good job of putting teams away. Just what does it say about your performance as kind of second half and how you guys been able to I think I think it shows that we're developing you know uh, we talk a lot about being calm confident and uh, not getting too excited and, and frustrated like play our game stick to it we're gonna make mistakes it's how we react to those mistakes how we recover and I think that's what happened today we we certainly turned the ball over a few times and, you know, we just went back to work, played good, solid defense, got the ball back. And offensively, we, we made sure we got good opportunities and we were patient. And, uh, you know, we, we scored uh, enough to get the job done. So I was extremely happy. It just shows that we're developing and, and we're getting there. Gary and Will, you can jump in on this too. What is something that Coach Oderna has put in that would allow you to get to this point where you could put in a performance like well, for me, I think it's the ownership of the defense. You know, we've talked about that a lot of press conferences, and, and his philosophy is that, you know, it's the team's defense. Like, and you're going to make mistakes, but if you, if, you know, six guys can make a mistake, but if they all make the same mistake, they can get a stop. If they all support it, no matter what, if one, one person makes a mistake. So it's really communication, taking ownership, and uh, having a real understanding of a, a simpler defense, how to play it. And I think, you know, I, I, I thought spring break last week, you know, was a great opportunity for us to become closer as a team and really buy into all the things that we want to do. And coming out of spring break, we've, our defense, you know, we've only given up, uh, you know, 10 goals in two games. That's pretty darn good. 
Will, uh, Owen, oh, this one is for you too. Uh, two parter for me. Um, obviously, you know, you were a wizard in the goal today. But uh, what does it mean for guys like Sam and Katie Cole to really be a prime pressure on those guys, like you said, to not to have you know kinds of pressure on the shots? And what is this? What kind of statement does it make for the rest of the season holding a guy like Brendan O'Neill down to only one goal? Yeah, I mean, I said this before. I just all the credit to uh, you know the guys in front of me for you know giving me the shots that you know I can make a save on. I couldn't do anything if they they weren't doing their job. So I couldn't appreciate you know their hard work and you know what they do to prepare um, more. Um, you know, the second thing is, is you know, we have a quote going, you know, play at the speed of trust and being able to play, you know, so free and so fast and aggressive um, because, you know, you know, there's five, six guys behind you that are, you know, ready to get your back. So I think that's been a you know, big part of our defense, you know, being successful recently is just, you know, playing with the trust in each other and as a team, just like uh, coach just said, and, um, you know, we're seeing the results. Owen here. Uh, I think you're now to 18 points over your last four games. Another hat trick for you today. Uh, a pretty cool low to high shot. Where would you, how would you characterize your confidence right now in the last few games? Uh, I mean, I'm kind of just playing like I usually do. Um, we're just running the offense. I'm just finding teams, and my teammates are always going to hit me when I'm open. So, I mean, we're just playing offense, and we're just really connecting together and becoming way more unselfish than previous years. So I think um, it's not like I don't have like a confidence in myself. I kind of just the confidence comes from like how like together we have become.